For young people to make impact in the society, they need to empower themselves with the right tools to help in the development of the country. This was the submission of the Inspired Youth Network at an event to commemorate the International Youth Day in the Kirodu area of Lagos State. Founder and Executive Director of the Network, Ayomiko Olubode, says young people will need to be more visible and participate in the decision-making process of the country to achieve desired changes. Among the focal areas for youth development and protection with this Youth Day initiative include education, employment, the environment, delinquency goals, and young women. A participant was sensitized about their place in the society and the need to change the narrative. If you look at it, we have the new, we have the uh, Not Young to Run Bill that now um, enables young people the, at the age of 25 to contest for the position of House of Assembly. So on this day of um, International Youth Day, we are, so, we are out again to let young people understand all these um, laws or the policies that support young people and how they can participate. Election is coming up in 2023 and we need, to, we need more young people to participate. We need more young people to register for their uh, permanent voters card. We need more young people to participate in the electoral processes, not just to vote, we need more young people to contest. So I, I, one thing I'd like to tell young people is that they need to first of all change their mindsets. Because for you to make a change in the society, you need to first change your mindset about that, society, about that society. If you believe Nigeria is bad, if you believe Nigeria can never be better, that is a bad mindset. So you need to change your mindset first. Once you change your mindset to a positive one, you need to have, you need to have a growth mindset. We need to come together, team up and watch each other, help each other, promote each other as youth. Also for the women, you know, there is this, um, there is this mindset that, that has been in existence that women are meant for the kitchen, they are not meant for the decision making room or drawing board. But believe me, you, if you train a woman, you have succeeded in training a nation because when you impart in a woman, she goes back to her home to impart in her children. She doesn't even stop there. She goes out there to even inform people and impart people. We need to bring, uh, form a baseline where the old and the young come together to have an equal, equal sitting and talk about things affecting them, especially, especially education sector. It's very important for our women to go back to school because if we don't see our women going back to school, the intergenerational solidarity will not work because our women have been left behind. It's, the, 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 the charge is a, a word for all age, all age, a word for all age, from the old to the young. Other participants present at the event asked all the youths to start something in their spaces for the future belongs to them. It is time, and the time to make the change begins now. It is no longer tomorrow. There is no tomorrow out there, but now is the right time. So to all youth out there, from your locality, start something. Be known for positive impacts. Make a difference from every other youth, and with this, uh, having a collective people with a positive impact, uh, being pessimistic, then uh, being optimistic with what they do, then we can actually achieve a lot. Youth involvement in everything today, it is highly needed. The Yorubas we see, we can see actually, what you are doing, that, the, that your offspring, your younger ones, are not involved in, it will die very soon. Now, we have many people up there that are getting old. Now, we, we also have to be, be trained and cooked with some kind of, kind of involvement. So, when we get there, it will not be new to us. We would have already known how it is. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.